Even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. Ron Gilbert's The Cave has a story to tell you. I mean that in a literal sense. The cave actually talks to you. In the cave, you choose three characters out of an available seven and have a little adventure in the cave. The cave itself speaks and is the narrator of your adventure. He and your chosen characters all have a dark story to tell you through the cave's environments. The protagonists, if you will, are all completely different and unrelated. From one being a monk, to another being an adventurer, to another being a knight, they share no similarities. Your time in the cave will consist mostly of platforming and puzzle solving. In most situations, you'll be utilizing all three characters you've chosen in order to solve the puzzles. You swap between characters on the fly throughout your journey, and use each character as you need them. This does not mean you need to walk through an area with three different characters just to keep the party moving, as moving one character to a checkpoint brings the others along. Single set areas are never too large to the point where it becomes a pain to use each character individually. Choosing your three characters basically chooses what levels you'll be playing in the cave. Each character has a special ability, and they can use it to access certain areas of the cave that others cannot. Thus meaning, there are seven unique areas in the cave, and no matter what, one playthrough only gets you to see three of them. Replaying the game with different characters is almost like playing a whole new game, and that's what's exciting about the cave. Each character's area is unique only to them and the story they tell. The cave's narration is crude and oftentimes very funny. He adds his two cents to every move you make. Who says cheaters never win? Losers, that's who. Each character has a dark secret, and uncovering them is the treat. Just one example is the twins, two small children that despise their parents. While traversing their huge mansion, their intentions of doing mommy and daddy's work is the last thing on their mind. Puzzles and platforming is a big part of the cave, and it's really fun. Right up front, the cave will tell you, no dying is allowed. If you die, the cave will bring you back. It's less about the penalty, and it's more about the success of solving. You'll mostly be picking up and moving around objects to solve puzzles. It might seem overly simple, but they're still challenging in that you aren't told much and aren't given any help. The cave itself is not only simple to play, but beautiful to look at. Everything about the environment is easy on the eyes. No matter what part of the game you're playing, the area in question looks so polished. From awesome monsters to sweet looking castles, there's something to appreciate. One glowing issue I seem to have with the cave is glitches. During some platforming segments, my character would get stuck in the ground and I'd have to purposely kill myself to reset. One major issue was that at one point in the game, an item I needed to advance did not spawn in the area. I spent over an hour wondering what to do until I had to look it up then realizing I could have never solved the area anyway. A simple reload save fixed the issue, but it could happen to anyone. Note that this review only reflects the PlayStation 3 version of this game, and should be used as a rough review for other platforms. Other than glitches, I did notice traversing ladders and ledges got a little annoying. Not because there was way too much of it, but rather the character kept hooking onto the wrong one. When two ledges are too close, for example, he might continuously hook onto the wrong one. It got a little annoying, but it was nothing major. Oh, men. I just want to be an electrical engineer. The cave has stories to tell you, and I think you should go check them out. Go see why these characters are awful people. Explore their worlds. Explore the cave. Play more than once. Take different people with you. I enjoyed my stay at the cave, and I think you might too.